want to give all honors and glory to the most high power, Yahweh, Ha, Yaha, Ha, Aroha, Yamaha, too. Ah, Yahweh, Ha, Yaha, Ha. Awaki Nui, Awaki Roa, Awaki Pa, Ma, Ma, too. Hawa, Moody Order. We'll do something for the woman. Can you get uh, Titus verse 2? Oh, chapter 2. New Testament. Hides, hides in there. Of Titus chapter 2 verse 1 verse 3 oh verse 3 the aged woman likewise and the aged woman likewise that they be in behavior in behavior as becometh holiness not false accusers that's what our woman shouldn't be false accusers read not given too much wine don't don't over drink yourself read teachers of good things teachers of good things read verse 4 that they may teach the young woman to be sober what that they may teach the young woman to be sober. This is what our aged woman should be teaching our young woman. Read. To love their husbands. To what? To love their husbands. That's what our woman should be teaching their woman is to love their husbands. Find a husband. Don't find a hump or a pump. Find a husband, love your husband, and he'll love you back. Read. To love their children. What? To love their children. That should be automatic. Read. Verse 5. To be discreet. What? To be discreet. To be discreet. Not a not a blubber mouth. Read. Chased. Keepers at home. What? Keepers at home. Keepers at home. Good. Obedient to their own husbands. Obedient to their own husbands. Don't have a husband and be obedient to some other cunt. Be obedient to your own husband. Let the word of God be not blasphemy. Once you out of order, my woman, you're blaspheming the name of the most high of Aroha. You're taking away Aroha from your woman, from your young woman. Can we read it again from verse 4? Verse 4. That they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. Verse 5. To be discreet, chaste, Keepers at home, good obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God not be blasphemy. That's right. So we want our um, woman to teach uh, our woman better things, because us men can't teach a woman how to be a woman. Can we get that? Deuteronomy yeah. chapter twenty-three, verse seventeen. Read. Yeah. There shall be no hope of the daughters of Yikaroth. So there shouldn't be any pause in the daughters of Ikaroth. Read that one more time. There shall be no hope of the daughters of Ikaroth. Keep reading. Nor a sodomites of the sons of Ikaroth. So our woman, we must teach our woman better and not teach our men to be read it again. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Ikaroth. Our women don't teach our daughters to be whores anymore. Teach them to have husbands, please. Read. That's right. No, a sodomite of the sons of Israel. And stop teaching our young men to grow up to be little feminine, little faggots. We don't have that in our nation. We have mighty men of the Lord. So please, our women, can you hearken just for this once? We've tried all ways. Please try the way of the Most High, please, just this one time. Uh, can you get Leviticus 19, verse 29? Chapter 19, verse 9. 29. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 29. You dare men, listen to this. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause war. To cause her to be a whore. What's that? To cause her to be a whore. Can you read it from the top? Do not prostitute thy daughter. To cause her to be a whore. Don't fucking do that anymore, my man. It's stupid. Lest the land fall to whoredom. That's how we got heaps of hoes. It's because of the men treating our woman wrong. Treating them like hoes. When our woman 
are princesses and goddesses. That's right. Treat them better. And the land become full of wickedness. That's why the land has become full of wickedness. Because our men, these are the frontliners. Our men, you're treating our women like shit. Read. One more time. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of wickedness. That's right. Read. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 9. Chapter 21, verse 9. And the daughter of any priest, if she be profane, if she profane herself by playing the whore, she profaneth her father. Read it again. And the daughter of any priest, if she profane herself by playing the whore, she profaneth her father. Profaneth her what? She profaneth her father. She shall be burnt with fire. What's that? She shall be burnt with fire. Fire. So, people uh, un misunderstand the judgment. Like, uh, my daughter, right? I'm a priest. When my daughter's playing up, the people around must burn her with fire. Meaning, throw her. Tell her to get in order. Stop being like that. You're dishonoring your father. And that's how all of us are meant to treat our daughters. Tell our daughters, stop doing that. You're dishonoring your father. That's right. Stop playing like that. You're dishonoring your father. Your father's a good man. He's a priest. And that's, I learned that lesson from my own daughter. But, I understand the judgments correctly. You don't burn them with literal fire. You burn them with judgment of growling correction. Growl them. You have the right to growl other people's children if they're playing a whore or doing something evil and wicked. Help them. Save them. Pull them out of the ditch. Read it one more time. Leviticus chapter 21 verse 9 And the daughter of any priest if she profane herself by playing the whore, she profaneth her father. She shall be burnt with fire. That's right. Get Ephesians. Can you get Ephesians? Chapter 5, 22. So we're just going to go for a run through for our females. We don't really talk about our woman, but... So we're going to bring it up for our woman. But we're going to help you by letting you know the man need to help you too. Chapter of this again? Ephesians 5.22 Book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22 Wives, submit yourself unto your own husbands. What's that? Submit yourself unto your own husbands. That's who you've got to submit yourselves to, to your own husband. Keep reading. As unto the Lord. As unto the Lord. So our wives are going to look at our husbands as they're looking at the most high. Keep reading. Verse 23. For the husband is the head of the wife. What's that? For the husband is the head of the wife. Keep reading. Even as Christ is the head of the church. What's that? Even as Christ is the head of the church. So our woman and our men got to understand there's decency and order right into a relationship. There's no 50-50 really. It's none. The 50-50 part is love one another, trust one another, have faith in one another. But the man is the leader of the house. That's right. That's the truth. And you men have to be righteous leaders. You're letting us down. You're letting us righteous followers down. Because you're, you're causing our women to become whores. Keep reading. As unto the Lord. One more time. Wives. Submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Verse 23. For the husband is the head of the wife. That's right. Even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. Keep reading. Colossians 3, 18. Book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 18. Mm -hmm. 
wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands. That's right, read. As it is fit in the Lord. Keep reading. 19. Husbands. What? Husbands. What? Husbands. You damn husbands, read. Love your wives. What? Love your wives. What? Love your wives. Keep reading. And be not bitter against them. And what? And be not bitter against them. Stop being bitter to your damn woman. Stop being bitter to your wives. Read it one more time. Verse 19. Husbands, love your wives. And be not bitter against them. That's right. So that's why the problem is, is our men are bitter to their wives. You know? You've got to stop doing that. Wives, treat your husbands like the Lord. Men, treat your wives like the goddess she is. She is a weaker vessel. You're meant to be her strength. That's right. Her korowai. Her patu. Her tayaha. Whenever she calls upon you, you shall be there. So, we're going to read that one more time because some of you men need to hear this three times. Book of Colossians, chapter 18. Oh, chapter 3, verse 18. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as it is fit in the Lord. That's right. First Peter, chapter 3. Verse 1, likewise, ye wives, ye what? Ye wives, read, be in subjection to your own husbands. See, the Messiah, he keeps um, repetitively saying to your own husband. Read, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. That's right, read it one more time. First Peter chapter 3 verse 1 Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. See that? You're going to make yourself look bad, man. Your wives are going to start talking shit about you. Can you get um, John 13:34? And you get John uh, 15, 12. 15, 12. Look at John chapter 13, verse 34. Red letters. Can you get um, Romans 12 verse 2, brother? A new commandment I give unto you. This, this is a new commandment. Read. That you love one another. That you what? That you love one another. That you what? That you love one another. So you wives and you husbands, you men and women, you just start loving each other because that's God. Read. As I have loved you.